Hello and welcome, my name is Eva and I hope your spring is much better than my spring because we have freezing temperatures at night. In April, in Ireland, I mean in Poland it was more or less normal to have some freezing temperatures at night in April, even sometimes in May, <laughs> but in Ireland, in April? <laughs> Where is my spring? Today, fortunately, is a very beautiful, sunny day. So, um, like the last time, I have only my curtains on my windows, no cardboard. So, I'm not sitting in full darkness. I need some serotonin. So, uh, yes, the sun is with us in this room. So, they might be changes of uh, white balance so sometimes especially it will be very much visible on my background sometimes it will be more warm tone sometimes it will be more cool toned because it's also a little bit cloudy but i hope you understand and of course i will try to edit this video as much so this um, differences between those temperatures won't be as much visible so as I mentioned before, recently I found my face chart book and I started to use it. Not only I have here some old um, projects, but also I started to use it for my new ones. I will show you two that I will do today and in my next video. Actually, I will show you four projects, but uh, we are interested only in two ones. So here we go. This one is done with Wicked Palette but by Unicorn Cosmetics and uh, I really wish to do this one in my next video, especially that I want to use a um, colorful eyeliner to it. So it's not like the final look of this makeup and today I want to do this. <laughs> We want spring, we want spring to be with us in makeup also and I hope berries, colors of berries are very much spring-like. I want to do berry makeup, so I will use of course Nabla Cutie Palette number 5, so Wild Berry Palette. And I will use uh, probably all of the shades. <laughs> Long time I haven't seen this palette on my channel, so I think it's about time. And also I will use today Suva Toppers, actually one, so the pink one, and I'm going to use it as highlighter. And because I've asked you if you want from time to time makeups without fake lashes, Today is the day. Today I'm going to use only Nabla Vicious Mascara, no fake lashes, only my true natural lashes. I hope you will enjoy such a tutorial. You see, I could use Unicorn Cosmetics fake lashes, my favorite ones, and that would be perfect opportunity to also ad advertise my discount code for Unicorn Cosmetics that you can find in the description box down below, 10% off, but I won't do this. As always, I'm going to apply my P. Louise base, I'm going to zoom you in, and we can start. Of course, as always, trust your imagination, you don't need to use exactly the same colors and palette as I'm going to, to use, so just use any palette you like, any colors you like, you can be inspired by shape or uh, colors, just use your imagination and do with this tutorial <laughs> whatever you want to do. Um, I just hope you're going to have fun. So as always, I'm going to start with matte base shade and I'm going to set my underbrow area. And I'm taking shade Venom. Beautiful, very nice. I would say that this is even a little purple shade, but it's still on this warm tone side. If you're using this particular palette, watch out. Venom is very dusty, however, it's beautiful and blend perfectly. I'm taking it with big pencil brush and I'm applying it in my outer corner as always. For now, I'm only tapping. The same on lower one, on lower eyelid, also outer corner. Connecting with upper. 
There you go. And now, of course, tap, scratch, tap, scratch moves. And I'm going to spread this color a little bit further than very outer corner. Now I'm going back to my beige and gently blending edges. Now I'm going to take Botanic Juice, this shade, with the same brush and I'm going to apply it next to this shade. Still, I'm more in my outer part, I mean outer part of this makeup. Tapping and scratching, nothing more. And you start from your lashes towards um, brow, because here will, the, will be the best pigmentation and more you go up, the more pigment you lose, so here will be lighter. Simple blending, let's say. Although I'm going to use my base shade anyway. Just take this shade with this little smudging moves on this purple there you go, perfect blending, just few, actually, few moves. <laughs> and back to my blending brush and to base shade. And again, I'm going to blend this area very close to my brow. I'm going to take shade in Sense, so this one, this is latex matte formula, and I'm going to apply it here, so it won't be on my like this moving part of my eyelid but more closer to my brow and because this is latex matte formula it needs to be like massage into eyelid it's very specific and uh, some people hate it some people love it i personally very much like it it's like little creamy um, wet formula As you can see, I hope you can see it, it looks a little bit like wet. It's very interesting, I very much like this formula. I'm going to apply this shade also on my lower eyelid, on the whole area without any color. Now only three steps left, so of course inner corner highlights, something on the middle and a little, little darkness in my outer corner. Let's start with the darkness. <laughs> so I'm taking shade Blackberry with pencil brush, with actually the same pencil brush that I used and only on tip, so nothing crazy, it's only here. Let's add touch. Just a touch. Now I'm going to take both shimmer shades. First I'm going to take Bucolic Baby, so this shade right here, and then I'm going to apply on this shade Alchemy 2.0, so second version let's say, so this shade right here. So let's start from this pinky shade and I'm applying it from my inner corner and my crease to this colorful side of my eye and here on the edge I'm tapping very gently I'm tapping this shade because I don't want to cover this reddish this reddish beautiful color the same on my lower eyelid I'm going to apply this shade on this latex matte formula and now the second shade, so Alchemy. And this one I only tap. I don't want to cover this pink shade, and I only want to add this bluish sparkle. And as a highlight in my inner corner, shade Dakiri, um, Suva, Toppers. I'm not sure yet if I want to leave my underbrow area without any highlight. Maybe I'll change that later, but for now, 
this is finished eye makeup let's say this is finished eye makeup now I'm going to apply probably beige pencil on my waterline and of course apply mascara so Nabla Vicious Mascara and I'll be back with um, blush highlighter and lipstick my skincare is absolutely ruined because of the weather, because of freezing temperatures at night. So excuse my dry as harassed skin. So as my bronzer, because I used only one today, I used the Balm Bahama Mama. Um, I haven't used this bronzer for a while and actually I should pan it. That's why I use it today. And now it's time for blush. So, as my blush, I'm going to use Cabana Boy, also the balm, because this is in the balm of your hand. So, like, palette with a lot of samples. I have no idea if it's available anymore. I heard that it's a second version, like volume 2 of this palette. If you ever wanted to try, um, like, for example, Bahama Mama, Hot Mama, Cabana Boy or Merry Luminizer, I think this is great palette to do it without, you know, using big pans only to try and especially blushes I feel like blushes are these kinds of product that you have and you can't get rid of it you can't finish it like heating pan in blush feels impossible <laughs> highlighter okay bronzer okay powder pff, sure even eyeshadows some of them especially, like uh, champagnes or transition shades or base shade, but blushes? <laughs> if you have ever panned blush, let me know. It feels like it's impossible to, pl to pan blush, because you literally don't need much to give yourself like sweet, sweet cheeks. I'm going to upgrade this blush and I'm going to use Nabla Glimmer Light Palette and shade Reborn, so this one. I'm going also to use shade Super Moon, this one, as my highlighter. Today I'm going to use two products for my highlighter. So I'm upgrading this blush with those particles. And now shade Super Moon as my highlighter or maybe as base for my highlighter although this shade is gorgeous by its own and now the fun part yes give me this topper I need it in my life and under my brow I will <laughs> add some highlighter but this one so just a little touch of something <laughs> that was the last powder that I wanted to use powdery stuff is over so I can apply my brow gel mascara lower lashes mascara and also a beige pencil my waterline because I forgot but before I do it I'm going to apply Nabla Viper so lip plumper <laughs> I don't use it as often here on my channel, so why not? Especially that I like it. First of all, I like the effect, but the most important, I like how my lips feel after using it, after hours after using it. And this is just what my dry lips need. Nabla says that if you want to use lipstick after using Viper, you should swipe Viper first and then apply lipstick. Probably, I believe it's because you don't want to have this formula on your lipsticks or inside your lip gloss, obviously, um, but I'm going to use my finger, not my lipstick, like I'm going to use my lipstick but with my fingers, so I'm not going to swipe Viper. And I'm going to use Nabla Glam Touch Lipstick shade Wildberry, so from the same bundle as this Wildberry palette. And I'm going to use just my finger and I'm going to gently tap this color on my lips. 
So basically, I understand that of course Viper um, upgraded, let's say, my lip color. It makes my lips more red, but this technique is very uh, nice just if you want to have more juicy lips. So this is the finished makeup, I hope you enjoyed it, I don't know what to think of it. Recently weather isn't nice for me when one day is like super warm and it's beautiful and the next day you're waking up in a freezing house just with freezing temperatures and it's re really so cold and your skincare just doesn't work anymore and uh, the headaches. Weather changes like this give me so heavy headaches and the biggest minus of this situation is that my English sucks when I have headaches. So I hope that in today's video my English wasn't as bad <laughs> as I think it is, <laughs> as I think it was and as I think it is still because I'm talking in English. I also mumble in Polish when I have headaches, so... Anyway, I still hope that you enjoyed today's video, so please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Then I will know that uh, my English doesn't suck and uh, my addition skills are okay, because for sure my English would be better in this video only because the magic of editing. <laughs> but anyway... In the next video I will do the second makeup that I showed you with Unicorn Cosmetics Wicked Palette and some fake lashes. So that's it! Thank you so much for being here and as always I love you very 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 much and I see you soon. Bye!